What's up guys, Mike here. Hope you're all doing well. I'm here with the first video of this series. And today's video is about introduction to physics, history of physics, and branches of physics. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So before we go through physics, I would like to remind you that physics is a branch of science and science is a study of nature and natural things. A brief physics history. Physics is a branch of science and its main objects are matter and energy. Physics were drawn mainly from the field of astronomy, optics and mechanics. In physics, today it's divided into 11 categories. So first, classic physics. This branch of physics is mainly concerned with the laws of motion and gravity. Newton's law are one of the main features of the classic physics. This branch of physics deal mostly with the matter and energy. In classic physics, energy and matter are considered separate entities. Newton's law are one of the main features of the classic physics. There are three laws of physics, as they commonly referred to or known formally as uh, Newton's law of motion. There are con they are considered the basis of classic physics and classic mechanics. Newton's law describes the motion of motion of a body upon which force may act and which may exert force on other bodies. When we speak of bodies, we are not speaking of actual human body, although human body can be included in this definition. It's may, uh, it means a piece of matter upon which a force may act. First, law of inertia. A body remains at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless acted by, upon by a force. Second, force equals mass times acceleration. A body's rate of change of momentum is proportional to the force of causing it. Third, action equals reaction. When a force acts on a body due to another body, then an equal and opposite force act, acts simultaneously on that body. Second, modern physics. Modern physics can be considered consistent classic physics. The standard model of physics and theoretical physics, including quantum physics, relativity, and much more. Albert Einstein and Max Planck were the pioneer of the modern physics. As, as they were the first scientists to introduce the theory of relativity in quantum mechanics. Albert Einstein Theory of Relativity Albert Einstein's theory of relativity is one of the most important discoveries of the contemporary age and state that the law of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers. As a result of this, this discovery, Einstein was able to confirm that space and time are interwoven in a single co continuum known as space-time, as such events that occur as, at the same time for one observer could be occur at different times for another. Theory, quantum theory Discovered by Max Planck in the 90s, quantum theory is the theoretical basis of modern physics that explains the nature and behavior of matter and energy on the atomic and subatomic level. The nature and behavior of matter and energy at the level is sometimes referred to as quantum physics and quantum mechanics. Third, nuclear physics. Nuclear physics is a branch of physics that deals with the constitution, structure, behavior, and interaction of atomic nuclei. This branch of physics should not be confused with the atomic physics which studies the atom. According to Microsoft and Carter Cyclopedia, nuclear physics is defined as the, the branch of physics in which the structure, force and behavior of the atomic nuclear are studied. In the modern age, nuclear physics has become very wide in its scope and has applied in many fields. It is used in power generation, nuclear weapons, medicine, gym, magnetic resonance, imaging, industrial, and a lot more. Four, atomic physics. Atomic physics is a branch of physics that deals with the composition of the atom apart from the nucleus. Its main concern with the arrangement and behavior of electrons around the nucleus. 
Therefore, atomic physics mostly examines electrons, ions, and natural atoms. One of the early steps toward atomic physics was recognizing that all the matter comprised of atoms. The true beginning of atom atomic physics is marked by the discovery of a spectral line, an attempt to examine them. This, re this result was entirely a new way of understanding the structure of atoms and the how they behave with each other. Fifth, Geophysics. Geophysics is the branch of physics that deals with uh, the study of the Earth. Its main concern is with the shape, uh, structure, and composition of the Earth. Geophysics also studies gravitational force, magnetic fields, earthquake, magma, and more. In the natural science concern with the physical process and physical properties of the Earth, and its surrounding space environment and the use of quantification methods for their analysis. Sixth, biophysics. Biophysics study biological problems uh, in the structure of molecules in living organisms using techniques derived from physics. One of the most groundbreaking achievements of biophysics is the discovery of the structure of DNA by Jim Watson and Francis Clerk. Seventh, mechanical physics. Mechanical physics is a branch of physics that deals with the motion of material or an object objects under influence of force. And often it's, it's just called mechanics. Mechanical physics has two branches: classical mechanics, quantum mechanics. Classical mechanics deals with the law of motion of physical object and the forces that cause the motion, while quantum mechanics is a branch of physics which deals with the behavior of smallest particle like electron, neutron, and proton. 8. Acoustic. The word acoustic is derived from a Greek word akoi, meaning meaning to hear. We can define acoustic as a branch of physics that studies how sound is produced, transmitted, received, and controlled. Acoustic also deals with the effect of sound on three states of matter, gas, liquid, and solid. Ninth, Optics Optics is a branch of physics that studies electromagnetic radiation, for example, light and infrared radiation and it has an interaction with matter and optics also include the study of sight. The Microsoft and Carter Encyclopedia defined optics as a branch of physics, physical science dealing with the propagation and behavior of light. In general sense, light is that part of electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic spectrum that extends from X-rays to microwave and it could in in include the radiant energy that uh, produce the sensation of vision. 11. Astrophysics. The word astrophysics is a combination of two Latin derived words which astro means star and physics means nature. Therefore, astrophysics can be defined as a branch of astronomy which is Concerned with the study of nature, the study of universe, for example, stars, galaxies, planets, and etc., etc., using the laws of physics. Tenth, thermodynamics. Thermodynamics is a branch of physics that deals with the heat and temperature and their relation to energy and work. The behavior of these quantities are controlled by four laws of thermodynamics. So I hope you enjoyed my video, if you did, subscribe and make sure to hit that bell icon to not miss any other future upcoming videos and see you next time, adios.